okay my this video about uh, three confusing terms one is the endosome one is autophagosome another one is the lysosome so I've seen couple of different students out there who usually uh, try to punch all these things together uh, and uh, derive nothing but uh, make sure be sure that these three things are different and what are the difference between these three things just learn this okay so my this video will explain that so let's first talk about what is lysosome so lysosome is nothing but a cellular is intracellular compartment which is having hydrolytic enzymes in a low pH condition okay that's what lysosome is what is an endosome endosome is again a hydrolytic enzyme containing compartment but still it is formed uh, due to uh, the invagination of the cell membrane okay so it's a pinching out portion of the cell membrane as we can say okay in a in a in a earlier phase okay and what is autophagosome autophagosome again it is also a compartment but it is made by the utilization of small vesicles and again along with different hydrolytic enzymes with having the lower ph content so all these definitions are still puzzling to you but what are the actual uh, position uh, as, as they work together and how they work together let's talk so for example let's first talk about this phenomena in this picture i'm just going to discuss this this picture so suppose a bacterium comes in, uh, come in, and the bacteria is very very bad for a cell. It's dangerous for a cell. It's harmful for a cell. So a cell has to degrade this bacterial cell. So it it will engulf this bacteria via the process as we know. It's called the phagocytosis. What do you mean by phagocytosis? Phagocytosis is a process of endocytosis when uh, what you are endocytosing is is it a solid uh, long or huge molecule? Then you call it phagocytosis. So it is a solid molecule. It is a solid particle. Not a liquid one it's a big particle so we call it the phagocytosis so after phagocytosis what it produces is called a phagosome so phagosome is a compartmentalized condition of a phagocytosis okay so we have bacterium inside this phagosome then the phagosome come in and phagosome is going to fuse with lysosome why they are going to fuse with lysosome because they need to be degraded and lysosome giving the hydro hydrolytic enzymes along with the low ph content so they can easily be degraded using the lysosomal enzymes that's why they uh, tend to be attached with this lysosome okay that's one side of our discussion what is an another side what is autophagosome now in autophagosome in this example what we are having in as the name suggests autophagosome so in this case we produces the phagosome uh, but they are the, the material which is been phagocytosis in this case is not the material of the cells own it's a material of foreign it's a foreign particle it's a bad particle so that's why it is called the only the phagosome but when the particle which is going to be phagocytosed is its own particle that is called the autophagocytosis and in this case when they uh, in in uh, establishing this autophagocytosis what is uh, what oh, if a compartmental a compartment is built then the compartment will call the autophagosome okay for example in this case we have the mitochondria inside the cell which is malfunctioning which is ne which need to be degraded very uh, uh, quickly we need to produce new mitochondria so we need to degrade this old mitochondria one so what happens normally there are small vesicles can be found inside the cytosol all the time there are lots of vesicles are going on there so those vesicles come in and it will going to surround this mitochondria which is going to be degraded so the vesicles are coming together coming closer they attach with each other they fuse with each other via the vesicle fusing uh, system as we have discussed before after the fusion of the vesicles what they produce they produces a compartment around this mitochondria which has to be degraded now this mitochondria al along with this uh, compartment will call the autophagosome why phagosome because again it has to be phagocytosis so again in case of previous phagosome it has to be attached with the lysosome to be degraded again in this case in case of autophagosome 2 it has to be fused with lysosome to be degraded because a lysosome is a, is a master uh, enzyme house in a cell which is going to provide the enzymes which is going to provide the enzymes to degrade all this debris all those comp components uh, which is present in the autophagosome and phagosome 
okay now how mito how how a lysosome is produced and what is a lysosome as i have told before lysosome is a super uh, lysosome is a compartment present in cytosol having a hydrolytic enzymes containing a low ph condition so how it is they, how they are going to be made they are they can be made via the process of endocytosis again the process of phagocytosis is a type of endocytosis but it is uh, when you take solid it will it is called the phagocytosis but in case of endocytosis you can take small molecules you can take liquid molecule and all these things after taking it via the process of endocytosis what we end up with we end up with vesicle inside the vesicle we have the food it can be a food material it can be a material which is necessary for the cellular growth and all these things so after the endocytosis this is called the early endosome so the endocytosis the vesicle along with those molecules is called the endosome and it is called the early endosome now as soon as as long as the endosome is traveling from uh, the from the uh, cell membrane uh, portion towards uh, the inter cell uh, towards the site of plasmic portion it is going to be matured as a person after uh, birth it is going to be matured to become a man finally so in this case it's also going to be matured and as long as then it is maturing it is finally is made a late endosome in this late endosome situation it contains it not only contains uh, the those uh, molecules uh, which is uh, sometimes which is in first place engulfed but also it it has another different type of molecule it it have different types of molecule some enzymes too those enzymes is going to degrade those molecules which which it they engulf in the very first place in the very first situation so they produces enzymes the enzyme containing vesicles are going there and fuse with this endosome to make it a matured endosome we call it a late endosome and as new enzymes uh, fueling uh, sacs are going and attaching with them and finally it will make a giant endosome and this endosome will contain lots of different enzymatic content along with Uh, a very very low ph condition and along with those materials it 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 first engulf finally call it lysosome because in this situation this is the fully matured state of this late endosome so what what we have seen before uh, an an invasion of the cell membrane which is a small vesicle we call it the early endosome finally it is getting matured and finally it will make a lysosome but the lysosome making can only be possible after the fusion of different vesicle along with those enzymes those hydrolytic enzymes so after making this lysosome as we know uh, is very useful to fuse with uh, either autophagosome or phagosome to degrade the molecules that contain uh, that that is contained by this phagosome and autophagosome and finally is going to degrade all these things together and release those debris outside the cell release the debris inside the cell or sometimes this lysosome itself is going to burst out and it will release all those molecules uh, into the cytosol and that will going to cleave all those uh, bonds in cytosol and all these chemicals in the cytosol finally uh, it will lead to the death of the cell that's why the lysosome is called the suicide bag of a cell it's very very important because sometimes the cell need to be killed Uh, in those apoptotic apoptosis conditions lysosome functions really quickly and really uh, in controlled manner that's uh, that's the thing about phagosome autophagosome endosome and lysosome so what is lysosome it's a mature phase of endosome what's phagosome it's a compartment containing uh, foreign debris and what's an autophagosome it's a compartment containing cell cellular own debris okay that's all and i hope that's going to help you so don't make any confusion